The East African National AIDS Council Civil Society Forum wants to see healthcare services that cater specifically to the youth. Uh, the majority of new HIV infections occurring among girls and young women. The ages are terrifying between 15 and 24. The majority of this in KZN, uh, where there are over 1,300 new HIV infections per week in that particular age group. Well, let's get the thoughts then of Mabalane Mfundisi, who is the coordinating committee member of SANAC Civil Society Forum. Uh, and good morning to you, and I appreciate your time, Mabalane. Just talk to me, first of all, uh, what does it look like when we want to try and get health care specifically for the youth? Because the ages we're talking about, 15-year-old girls, uh, is terrifying a thought, uh, as I think anybody could imagine. Uh, morning, uh, Gareth, and uh, to the viewers. Um, yes, it is a very disturbing uh, turn of events uh, in the wake of the you know relentless fight that we are all uh, enjoyed in uh, uh, winning. Um, the issue of uh, HIV relates to 15-year-olds. I mean, a 15-year-old is a young, um, is a is a child, and uh, uh, you know the interaction the intersex uh, intersectionality uh, between um, uh, those young people and those that uh, provide this type of uh, 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 you know challenge to them uh, mainly adult males who are mobile with uh, money is a challenge that we need to deal with uh, mm. 15 year old being pregnant 15 year old uh, you know contracting hiv from an adult that is a, a criminal offense and we must deal with it for what it is but i want to uh, ask you about how we deal with that uh, mabalane as well because this is something that i've been trying to to get my head around as well because it's one thing to say that uh, there's a 15 year old girl uh, who's pregnant or has contracted hiv aids but that also means there's a male a man on the other end of this that has broken a law uh, in our country where do we try and find justice uh, for women and girls that are this well, young getting pregnant and then also sadly contracting HIV AIDS where's our justice uh, in this in our in our criminal justice system well, it must start uh, uh, at, at the basic level you know uh, that particular 15 year old has uh, parents they've got uh, guardians and uh, whomever would have uh, 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 done that particular act to them needs to face the might of the law. You know, the police must play their part, arrest those uh, people. That's criminality, and uh, uh, we need to we need to start there. Uh, but at the same time, at, at, at external level, we need to also ensure that uh, the, those uh, you know discharged uh, charged with those responsibilities do their part. The minister of uh, police and uh, other adults around that particular land, uh, a, a, a child also needs to ensure that they protect uh, a, a children. I'm a father to a 17-year-old, and I worry about when she goes out into the world, where I'm not there every day, uh, is she going to be safe? So it's, it's about me, it's about empowering her, but it's also creating an environment that ensures that uh, she is not faced with those particular challenges that 15-year-olds uh, in their thousands on a weekly basis have to uh, navigate. Yeah, this is really no reason at all uh, in today's society for a 15-year-old to be worrying uh, about falling pregnant and HIV AIDS, yet this is the reality we're in. I want to ask you this as well. So right now we have the SA AIDS conference uh, on the go down in KZN uh, as well. Give me your views on this sort of conference. Does it make a difference? What are you hoping they achieve? Can they achieve anything? Or to your mind, could this just be a talk shop? Well, uh, partly it's a talk shop because you are bringing together uh, activists who are grappling with these uh, issues on a day-to-day -day basis. They are coming to pause, to reflect, to learn on about new strategies. So it, it's, it's a talk shop in that particular level. But what makes it uh, more important is to take it out of the ICC, into the streets, into households, to ensure that this new knowledge that would have been provided is actually translated into 
practical implementation that ensures that that man who has the intention of creating or doing what we have just spoken about is stopped in his tracks through uh, reaching out to him. We have different sectors here that needs to use their power and their might to ensure that the message uh, gets along. So it is really a platform to uh, reflect, but uh, what may, will make it uh, more uh, relevant is when we get out into the streets, get into households, get into the different platforms, into the schools, and engage with uh, young women to make them resilient, but also engage with the men so that they stop what they actually are, are doing. Yeah, it can't just be a focus just on, on the girls and young women as well, because we've got to try and address the issue of the young men and how they're treating uh, women and girls in our country as well. Just a last question to you, Mabalane. I want to just get your thoughts uh, on what is considered quite a widely held opinion uh, when it comes to the fight against HIV AIDS. How much damage was done when the focus was moved off HIV AIDS and onto COVID-19 uh, because of the outbreak of that uh, pandemic? How much do you think we lost in that fight? Well, we, uh, the, the, the prevailing conditions, uh, you know, dictated that some things that were ordinary day-to-day -day, uh, uh, occurrence, people going out and getting their medication, they were stopped because we had hard lockdowns. Um, you know, quite a number of uh, things that uh, we were doing, we were making progress, uh, had to be rolled back in order to allow the regulations that came on a weekly basis for <laughs> lack of a better word. And they, they had a, a debilitating uh, impact uh, on the ability of uh, society to do what needs to be done. So the impact was very, very much, uh, uh, you know, great. But uh, we, we are making uh, great strides to ensure that we get back to, and I put it in inverted commas, uh, normality wherein those that uh, may have uh, defaulted uh, from taking their ARVs uh, during that uh, COVID era are reintegrated. It's welcoming them back. It's engaging with them so that uh, we do what we need uh, uh, to do. But again, circling back to that particular issue we started with of ensuring that uh, we create uh, platforms and conditions for young women to be resilient and mm. for men to be responsible about the challenge that confront us. Uh, our I just want to ask you this very briefly. This uh, uh, forgive me for interrupting you, Mabalani. I just want to just make sure I understand uh, this as well. Your thoughts on, on why we're seeing this spike uh, in KZN. I'll, I'll leave this as my last question. Why do you think there's a sudden spike in KZN? Well, uh, the, the sudden spike is, uh, you know, Sometimes we get comfortable uh, because we're making progress. We, we have been making great strides, great progress in addressing issues relating to HIV as it relates to young girls. But uh, the young people uh, need to rise up and ensure that uh, they take charge, but also the uh, uh, perpetrators uh, seem to have found a uh, you know, platform to uh, wreak havoc and it needs to be stopped in their tracks. So it's really, uh, 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 you know, being comfortable because we think that we have arrived. We have not arrived. We have a long journey and all mm. of us in the spaces we occupy need to play our part. Absolutely. Mabalane Mfundisi, I thank you for your time this morning. So SANEC Civil Society Coordinating Committee member, very worrying stats, 1,300 uh, young women and girls, that's per week, 1,300 are contracting HIV and AIDS. We are going to stay on top of uh, this and continue to unpack with experts throughout the day.